Hey everyone, before I start the video, I just want to preface this by saying my, my family is being kind of loud downstairs and it's really freaking annoying and I'm, I'm sorry, I, it's going to maybe ruin the video, Ho hopefully not, but it could happen. And I don't know how long they're going to be doing it for, but it could be a while, it could, it could be a long time, I don't know, I hope not, but it could happen. Chapel Roan recently said, or at least was quoted with saying by Popcrave on Twitter, that... Um, there are issues on both sides of the political spectrum, meaning Republican and Democrat. And this caused a lot of uh, backlash and, and flames all over the internet. Like, it was an explosion. That's like an implosion, but that's more of an explosion. And no, I'm not a scientist. I just know my shit. Specifically, she was getting fire from... Liberals and Democrats? <laughs> what losers. I'm a Chapel Roan stand for freaking life. These people are clearly fake fans because you stick by your fave who you stand through thick and thin. If they kill someone, stick with them. If they do anything else, stick with them. It doesn't freaking matter what they do. You are their servant for life. You serve to uh, pay, give them money, essentially. And that is my role uh, in Chapel Roan's fan base. Clearly these people are not committed to their roles as stands. And I got thinking, you know, liberals are saying, oh, well, she thinks there's problems with the Democrats. She must be a Republican. And then there's backlash to that from Twitter. Farther left people are telling them, hey, actually, she's not a Republican. She just doesn't like either party. That made sense to me at first. But you know me. I think a lot. I think a lot. I have thoughts in my brain 24 freaking 7. And I was thinking about Chapel Roan, where she might align on the political spectrum. I was like, if I was Chapel Roan and I took a political compass test, what would I score? What answers would I choose? And what I realized is that the leftists are wrong, as always, but especially wrong in this case. Chapel Roan is a Republican. She is. The Democrats are right. The leftists are wrong. But they're both in the wrong as well. Because republicanism and conservatism is an objectively good thing. And we need pop stars and gay icons like Chappelle Roan, Chapel, Chapel Roan, sorry, to, to uh, uh, push our narratives and our uh, politics upon the music industry. I think when she said there's problems on both sides... I think she was mostly talking about Democrats. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real. I think Chapel Roan hates Kamala Harris and loves Donald Trump. It's pretty obvious. There was a thing that came out that said she refused to play music at the White House with Biden because he was, he was doing something bad. That kind of said to me, oh, she gets it. Chapel Roan really fucking gets it. She understands what it's like to be a middle class working American. And, and cl clearly so, seeing as she has so much money, she clearly, she's clearly getting, I actually don't know where that logic is, but, but just trust me. I think what would be good for Chapel Roan to do in this moment is to clarify that she is a Republican. I think that, you know, it's good that she kind of alluded to it, but we need a solid statement from her if we're going to win the election this year with Donald Trump, who, by the way, isn't even a bad guy. Um, I, I, I don't know him personally, but I am, what do you call it, uh, parasocial. I have a parasocial relationship with Donald Trump. He doesn't know who I am, but I know who he is, and I love the fuck out of him. You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't? If you're a Republican, what are you doing if you don't like Trump? Like, come on. That's your guy. He should be your guy. Come on. I just love Donald Trump so much. I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe the liberals tried to cancel him over and over and it just never works because he has so much money, he's never going to go away. You can't cancel someone if their fans don't give a fuck and they don't give a fuck, okay? You can't cancel someone if, if, they, if they don't have a fan base that's going to assist in the canceling. Now, a lot of people are going to come into my comments and they're going to say, oh, no. They're either going to say, no, it's not a good thing or no, she's not a Republican at all. I just want to tell you that I want to tell those people right now, you're wrong and I'm right and I'll always be right and you'll always be wrong because we are on different ends of the political spectrum and my side is right. It's called the right for a reason 
and yours is left. It's it's left because oh, it's out of left field. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's unexpected. It's it's unpredictable, and no one likes that. What people like is familiarity, and 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 for things to be predictable in life and society, and for nothing to go wrong, and for no one to, to step outside the status quo. And that's awesome. I think that's awesome. Like, why why are we why are we throwing a fit about this? No one's getting hurt. I haven't been hurt by this. Has anyone else? <laughs> I don't hear you. I don't hear anyone say yes. I am recording a video with no one in, in in front of me, but you know, just I think I think it would go the same way if this was in real life, in public, in front of a crowd, maybe on a big big stadium. Uh, that's where I imagine myself usually when I'm when I record these videos, I kind of imagine myself uh, in an arena of sorts, uh, may, like performing. But this is my performance. It really helps me get my ideas across, you know, to imagine that I'm speaking to people like a like a like a politician would. Donald Trump should rent out Yankee Stadium, honestly, like that'd be fucking sick. Don't you think he should rent out Yankee Stadium and he should go. Ugh. He should go. I love the baseball. I love the Yankees. It's a pretty good impression, right? <laughs> I watch so much Donald Trump on TV that I just know how his voice sounds. And I know how to replicate it, like, just in my mind. I, I can think of it. I can think of his voice in my head. And I can be like, mm, that's how I do that voice. Mm. I like pasta. And I like tomato sauce. Pretty good, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Chapel Roan should stop fucking around. She should stop alluding vaguely to this republicanism. And maybe just, like, go on stage with Donald Trump. Maybe at the Yankee Stadium. Maybe Donald Trump would go, I love Chapel Roan, we love Chapel Roan. And Chapel Roan would go, H-O-T-T-O-G-O. -T -T -O, you can take me hot to go. I can't do the dance, but I can do that voice pretty well, right? Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm not a girl. Politics are getting rough. We are having a rough time with politics these days. The election's coming up. Tensions are high. All sorts of tension, sexual, uh, uh, maybe not. Well, in my case, yes, but maybe not in yours. If you're watching this video, if you're watching YouTube in your free time, like, as much as I love my viewers, like, you guys are freaking losers who, um, you don't have sex. You don't have sex. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not in your resume as a human. Like, I think once you, uh, log into YouTube for the first time and, like, watch, like, a hundred videos... At that point, you are banned legally from having sex with anyone. Not women, not men, not non-binary people, no one else. Just you dorking it. And honestly, I don't feel bad for you because that sounds sick as hell. If I could just like abandon all my relationships, I'm in many. I would because I just I just want to dork it. You know what I'm saying? I just want to I just want to um. Let's move on. So yeah, Chapel Roan is a Republican and people need to stop uh, denying that. And she hates the Democrats and uh, everyone's wrong about her. No one, this is the only right, this is the first time I've ever heard someone have a right opinion about this, this is my video. And that's crazy because so many people have spoke on this, but I really just think that it's a good thing that she's spoken out like this. And I hate the way the left is misconstruing what she's saying because it is truly gut wrenching stuff. I mean, ET for the passenger seat, are you eating me out? Is it casual now? I think what she's talking about there is conservatism. It's a metaphor. Don't ask me how or why, but it is a metaphor for conservatism, right? Yeah, 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 I'm right. All right, guys, it's been fun. I hope I got my ideas across. I hope you listen to me. I'm like your teacher. I'm like your professor in school. I don't have a formal education college-wise. Neither do you probably if you're watching this video, but you might if you're watching this video and you're agreeing with me because I am so smart. And if you are a college student, you probably are smart as well. And I hope you agree with me because we're both smart. We both think alike. Great minds think alike. So, let's see what happens. Let's see if Chapel win Roan wins the debate. Let's see if, okay, let's see, no. Okay, bye. 
Should I? No. Um, I think I'm done. I, ignore the last part of what I said. I don't. I don't know what I was going on about. All right. Bye.